It finally flew up. Mom, look at me. I made it fly. Wow, you are doing great. That's my girl. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Oh honey, I think it's time for me to go to work. Can you go home by yourself? Of course, Mom. Our house is just across the street. Oh, good girl. When I get home from work, I'll buy you a strawberry cake. Yay! Thanks, Mom. I'll play for a while. Ah, no, no. My kite. Where is it? Oh, no. It's a new toy my mom bought me. Uh, is this yours? Oh, my God. Yes, that's my kite. S thank you so much. Why, you are welcome. But wait, what's your name? Me, my name. Yes, I want to know your name. You helped me. I, I, ugh. What's wrong? I do not have a name. What? Didn't your mother give you a name? Mom, I don't have a mom either. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. And no, it's okay. It's just that I don't know who is my mother, who is my father. I've been wandering here for a long time. Poor him. So you don't have a friend? Friend? Like what? Like me. No, no. I have never met anyone who treats me as well as you. I also saw some kids my age, but they beat me. They don't want to talk to me and think I'm dirty. Do you think I'm dirty? No, even though your clothes are a bit ragged, you are beautiful. What, really? No one has ever told me that. Don't care about your detractors. They are bad guy. Those who use violence on others are the ugliest. T, thank you so much, Hick. Don't cry. I will give you a name, okay? Really? I love that. Okay. Let me think. Levi, your name will be Levi. Levi, do you like it? Of course, I love it. Cool, so from now on your name will be Levi. Hi Levi, my name is Isolda. Nice to meet you. Isolda, her name is so beautiful. Nice to meet you, Isolda. I'm Levi. Hee <laughs> hee, let's play together. Okay? Can I? Of course, you can. Why not? And that was the first time Isolda met Levi. Since Isolda's mother is always at work, she spends most of her time with Levi. I'm sure Levi will be happy when he sees me. What is that? Ha ha ha. You're so dirty. You deserve that. We told you not to come near us. Ah, please stop. I just want that toy back. How? That toy. You must have stolen it. Because how can a poor kid like you have such a toy? Yeah. He's right. You. Ah, stay away from him. Isolda. Ah, who the hell are you? Hello. She's going to hit me. I called the police. They will come to take you away. Because you guys beat this boy. Ugh. I don't want to get caught. Me too, Ugh. Wait for me. Who, who, who? What do I do now? You are injured, who, who, who? Calm down, Isolda. See, I'm still fine. Do you don't cry, I'm begging you. Why don't you hit them back? You so stupid. Because you said that the person who uses violence is the ugliest, so. I mean guys who hit you for no reason. Their actions are wrong and they need to be punished. I, I understand, so don't cry, Isolda. If you're sad, I'm sad too. What if I didn't have to protect you today? Oh my god, you have to promise me that next time you won't stand still and suffer like that. I promise, I will protect myself. Great, Hick, wait for me a second. Okay. Here is for you. Oh my god, really? T, thank you so much, Isolda. But, what happened? You give me a lot, but I give you nothing. Do you hate me? No. Why do you think like that? I really like you, Levi. What? 
I just hate the guys who hurt you. Ah, I remember. I sneaked it away from my house. Let me help you before you eat this cake. Oh, okay. Thank you. Fifteen minutes later. What's wrong? When I first met you, your wounds always caught my attention. I thought how great it would be if I could make them disappear. But those evil people keep hitting you. Heck, don't cry. Don't cry, please. I promise I'll be more careful. You better do that. But I'm still very worried about you. Come stay at my house. And no, I can't. Why? My mom is very kind. She will definitely take care of you. Moreover, we can become relatives. You might become my brother. I will protect you for life. Relatives? You mean you and I will be together forever? Yes. Um. Maybe no. Why not? It's embarrassing, but if I get married later, maybe you and I will see each other less often. Just like my mom, she hasn't visited her family for a long time. Get married? What does it mean? Marriage is an adult business, but it means they will be together for life. Then I want to marry you. Oh ha ha ha! But we're too young, aren't we? So as long as we grow up, I can marry you, right? Yes, you're right. So I can stay with her for the rest of my life. Then I don't want to be your relative. Oh come on, Levi. Getting married is hard. My mom always said my dad was a bad guy. He went into debt and gave it away to my mother. That's why my mother advised me not to get married. But I. She's right. If I were as poor as I am now, maybe she will be like me. Will be trampled by others. And no, I don't want that. Huh? What do you mean? I want to be with you, but ugh. But I still don't want to be your relative. Hey, wait. Where are you going, Levi? Did I say something to make him angry? Let's wait for him tomorrow. Two days later. Where is he? It's been two days since he showed up. Did I do something wrong? I was waiting for him. Two hours later. Oh no, he doesn't come. I have to go home, or my mom will be worried. Ouch! Who are you guys? It's too dark. I can't see them clearly. Ha <laughs> ha. See, I told you, she can't see us. Since it's dark, we can hit her more easily without anyone noticing. You're right. Maybe she doesn't remember us. But do it quickly, guys. I'm scared. They are. I know all of you. Hear your voices. I guessed it. What? You guys are the ones who bullied Levi. You guys are the bad guys. What do we do now? She knows us. So what? My parents are very rich. We have nothing to fear. Then do it quickly. Ah, no, my head. Really? What the? Who is it? Run, Kate. Wait for me. Oh no, Isolda. It's all my fault. Why are you waiting for me? No, it's not now. I have to take her to the hospital. All because I was too weak. I couldn't protect her. Goodbye, Isolda. Soon, I will definitely find you again. Wait for me. Help. How? What's that noise? Omg! A little girl. She's bleeding. The next day. Ugh! My head. Oh my god, Isolda, you're awake. I'm so so sorry, honey. It's all my fault. I left you home alone. You have been attacked by someone. I should have gone home earlier. I'm so sorry. Who are you? W what? What did you just say? Um, excuse me. Do I know you? Oh my God, doctor, help! Thirty minutes later. As we checked, your daughter has amnesia. No way. This is terrible. I think you should help her remember things slowly. If you are too hasty, she will be shocked. I understand, Doctor Hahu. What?
what happened to me? The last thing I remember was a boy carrying me away. A boy. A boy. What do you mean, the soldier? Do you remember anything? Someone brought me here. What? Oh, that's right. When I brought her in, someone brought her to the door. Oh my! I don't know that. Do you know who is he? No, I don't. When I go outside, he was already gone. I want to say thank to him. Who is he? I wonder. Some time later. Oh my God! Are you saying the truth? Three kids gone missing in the last week. In this town. Yeah. I am calling to inform you because your home is very close to the homes of the missing children. I think you should move house or go somewhere further for a while. Yeah, I think so too. What's wrong, Mom? You look so nervous. No, nothing. I'm just talking to a friend. Okay. I want to stay here a little longer to see who helped us older, but it's too dangerous. We don't have time. Do you mind if we move house now? No, I don't mind it. But why do we have to move house? I have a new job, so we have to move there. Oh, okay, Mom. I have no idea about moving, but I'm a little sad, and I don't know why. Ugh, my head. What happened? Where am I? So you're awake. Who are you? Calm down. I want to ask you something. It's not my business. All adults are bad people. Only Isolda is a good person. Isolda, a girl. I was so stupid. I told him her name. What if he kidnaps her? Chill. I don't even know who is she, and I don't care about her. I'm paying attention to you. What do you want? So you're an orphan. Actually, I find you quite interesting. How old are you? What? Why are you? Ugh! I'm nine years old. Wow. You are only nine years old. It's not your business. I'm really curious about you. Ha ha ha. Are you done enough? Game over. I'm not playing with you anymore. What? I've decided I'll adopt you. Wait. What do you mean? Don't worry. I won't hurt you. I can even help you get to that girl often. How can I trust you? There have been a lot of adults cheating on me. Now you have nothing. No power. No money, no education. Ugh, I. Now you can run or do whatever you want, but you know, when that girl grows up, she can't fall in love with a homeless guy. As shut up, you don't know anything. She understands me. Are you sure? When she grows up, will she remember you? But. So come on, make your choice, because I don't like to wait. Are you sure that after I become more amazing? She will notice me. Oh ha ha! Of course, I will definitely help you become more awesome. Then I will do everything you say. My name is Levi. Ha ha! Good boy. Nice to meet you, Levi. I'm your new father, Walter. Thank you, Mr. Walter. Nope. You must call me Dad. Okay, Dad. Wait for me, Isolda. I will come to you soon. <coughs> What happened, honey? Who are you waiting for? I don't know. Oh, poor baby. Maybe she's waiting for her friend. Don't be sad. I will definitely bring you to visit this place. No, I'm fine, mom. Let's go. Okay. Finally. Slowly. Where is she? Her house is empty. Home. Let me see. No sign of scuffle or violence. I guess she has already moved. What? No way! She said she would wait for me. I think maybe it's because of you that she moved. What? Three missing children are very close to her house. Her mother must have taken her away. Oh no! Why don't you consider it a time to refresh yourself, become more perfect, more popular? She will definitely notice you. He's right. This will be my chance. Maybe Isolda is giving me more time. I understand. Please teach me things I haven't learned yet, Mr. Walter. Call me Dad. Dad, please help me, Dad. Ha ha! Of course. As time passed, Isolda started a new life in the big city. Because her mother got a good job in the city center, Isolda went to the best school. 
Isolde remembered almost everything except Levi. Eight years later. OMG. Look at this, Ariel. He's my idol. I love him so much. Who? Let me see. Oh my, I know him. He's just been popular lately, right? Yeah, you're right. He's so handsome, right? Of course he is. What do you think about him, Isolde? Isolde? Uh, yes. What's up? Gosh, you always read books. Are they interesting? Oh, of course. The books are very interesting. So are they more attractive than guys? Huh? Why are you asking like that? We are discussing a singer, and he is awesome. Do you know him as Solda? I don't. Huh? So do you know or not? I see he's very handsome, but there's something very. See, even someone like you who doesn't listen to pop music thinks he's handsome. Ah, come on, Ruby. You know, I don't really pay attention to celebrities. You're so boring. Yeah, if you're like this, how can you have a boyfriend? Haha, -ha, I don't need it. Come on, we're only 16 years old. Love is not married now. It's a waste of time. You don't understand anything, girl. You may not get married, but it will be the most beautiful moment for you. Nah, not me. I think the best moment for me was when I was able to find a job after graduation. Yeah, she's really boring. Haha, <laughs> whatever. After school. Let's play Roblox together tonight, okay? Anyway, tomorrow is Sunday. Okay, I'm fine with that. Great, I will play with you guys. Haha, <laughs> so bye. I will go home first. Bye. See ya. Hey, watch out. Ugh, what's wrong with him? He didn't even apologize to me. Whatever. Wait, my wallet. They're gone. Where is he? Huh? Over there? Yes, oh, here you are. What? Did you see someone running past here? He wears tight clothes and... Is that my wallet? Yes, this is your wallet. I just caught that robber. He also tried to steal my wallet. But I was faster than him so... Oh my, thank you so much. This wallet is really important to me. Oh, so what about me? Huh? What did you just say? Ha ha ha, nothing. We both met robbers. What a coincidence, isn't it? Oh ha ha, you're right. He looks really handsome, but I have a feeling he's quite familiar. Is there something wrong with my face? And no, it's just that you're so handsome. Ugh. I mean, Damn it. Why did I say the word I was thinking? Oh really? So do you like me? Do you know me? Uh, and no. Don't misunderstand me. So my name is Levi. Nice to meet you. Levi? What a cute name. My name is Isolda. Nice to meet you too. Levi? You still don't remember who I am? Huh? W what do you mean? Ah, you. Yes, yes. I'm here. Did you remember? You're Levi. Yes, it's me. A famous singer, Ruby showed me your photos. What happened, aren't you? No, no, forget about it. I was in a hurry, we haven't seen each other in eight years. So what do you mean? Have we met before? But when I was young, I was just a poor and failed kid. Maybe she doesn't even need to recall that memory. The me now is good enough. No, I just wanted to tease you a little. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on. Oh, my mom is calling for me. I think I'll go home first. Before you leave, may I have your phone number? Really? But is that okay? You are a celebrity. You know? What's wrong? So I can't have a friend? No, no. That's not what I mean. Here, this is my number. Oh? So bye. See you again? See you again? Pfft. Ha ha ha. She's so cute. I guess after all the time, her personality hasn't changed. I have to talk to her more. Ah, uh, I miss her so much. After that conversation, Levi found a way to approach Isolda more. Do you have a boyfriend, Isolda? W what? No, I don't have a boyfriend. So can I be your boyfriend? <coughs> you? Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? No, no. I think you're being honest. That's why I'm shocked. So what do you think? I think I can't. What? Why? You don't like me? 
No, it's not. I really like you, but as you can see, you are a famous singer and I'm nobody. Moreover, I am very afraid of crowds if I become your lover. Surely there will be reporters coming to bother me. I'm so sorry, Isolde. I didn't think for you but quickly decided for myself. No, no, it's not your fault. Then I won't be a singer anymore. What? Then you can be my girlfriend, right? Why are you doing this? It's like I'm making you lose your job. Shh, don't say anything. You know I'm only one year older than you, I haven't finished school yet. I'm also very good so don't worry I won't have a job. But, but... I love you, Isolde. I just need only you. All my efforts so far just for you. So please, be my girlfriend. And my wife, too. Oh my. Levi. I can't believe you love me so much. Feels like you already love me. Aw, uh, you can think like that. Alright then, I'll be your girlfriend, but don't quit your job, okay? Although it will be a bit annoying, I don't want you to lose your job. Really? You'll be my girlfriend? Thank you so much, Isolde. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I love you, Isolde. Love you so much. Oh my. You make me shy, Levi. I love you too. Finally. Finally, she belongs to me. Only for me. The next day. <sighs> no way. I can't believe it. What happened? Hoo hoo hoo. W what's wrong? Do you know anything, Ariel? He quit being a singer. What? What do you mean? Who? Levi, suddenly he quit his job. He said he didn't want to be a singer anymore. Oh my god. Really? If it's not true then why am I crying? Oh my god. What is he thinking? Huh? Where is she going? Who cares? Hoo hoo. Levi. Oh babe, what's up? I thought you were studying. You missed me that's why you called me. Gosh. Why are you doing like that, Levi? I told you not to quit your job. Huh? That's because I don't want you to be in trouble. I'm your girlfriend. It's okay to have a little trouble. I don't want you to give up the job you love because of me. Aw, uh, is someone worried about me? You're so cute. S shut up. Answer me, please. Don't worry. I really don't want to be a singer at all. All day long someone follows, tired to death. Really? So why are you doing this job? I just wanted to give it a try, who knew I would be so popular? That reason sounds suspicious, but it's also quite reasonable. Because he's really handsome. Hee <laughs> hee, anything else? No, it's just that I was quite shocked when you made such a sudden announcement. Next time before you decide on something important, tell me too. Yes, ma'am, I remember. Ha ha ha, stop being like that. I love you, babe. I love you too, Levi. See you after school. Okay. I didn't expect him to do this just for me. I will recommend him to my friends someday. Um, Isolde. Yes? What's up, bro? Uh, you know, we've known each other since middle school. Yes, I know that. Ha ha. What happened? You stammering like that makes me think you want to confess to me. Ugh. So, what happened? You're right. I. Oh, sorry. I have a phone. Oh, okay. It's okay. Yes. What happened, Levi? I just want to hear you say you love me. Haha. -ha. Didn't I just say that? No, I want to hear more. Because I really miss you. Oh my. I can imagine him with puppy eyes begging me. I love you, Levi. What? Is that enough? No, one more time. Okay, okay. I love you so much. Ugh. Uh, I love you too. That's enough, thank you, babe. Haha. <laughs> you acting like a baby. Huh? Where is Duncan? I thought he had something to say. Ugh. I can't believe she has a boyfriend. I definitely have to meet him once. The person who met her for the first time couldn't understand her better than me. Moreover, as long as I say a few words, she will definitely believe me instead of him. Are you sure about that? What the? Who are you? I'm her boyfriend. Her boy for you. Why are you here? Why not? Everywhere Isolde goes, I go. Besides, I'm seeing a certain rat flirting with my girlfriend. Are you crazy? I'm not doing anything. Not yet. Someone just said that will make her change her mind about me. TCH. Ha. Oh, 
So what? I've known her since she was in middle school. What about you? Ha 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 ha. Wait me a second. Ha ha. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, okay. You knew her when she was in middle school. And I've known her since she was as small as a piece of candy. What do you mean? Do you understand her well? Do you know what she needs and likes? Of course I. Oh yeah, she's allergic to roses. If I hadn't called her to stop you, she would have been hospitalized. No way, I don't know it. But how do you know I'm approaching her? Moreover. Ha, you've known her since middle school, dump ass. You? Shh. When I was gentle and patient with you, you should go and stay away from my girl. I warn you for the last time. If there is a next time, I will not forgive you. I'm being patient with you, respecting the fact that you're the one she's known since she was in school. Don't joke with me. Whoa, bro, what are you doing? I haven't done anything to you yet. How dare you challenge me like that? Who do you think you are? Hey, hey, wait, I'm sorry. If you want to say something, can we talk calmly? Huh? Why are you shaking like that? Didn't you raise your voice to challenge me just now? I, it's just because I really love her. Ridiculous. A weak person like you can't love her. Ah. Uh. Levi. What? A solder? Why, what are you doing in here? And? Wait, a solder. It's not like what you think. A solder, hick. I, I just want to come and bring you lunch because you often forget lunch. But when I asked him where you were, he suddenly got angry and hit me. What the? I'm not. This guy? Did he get punched on purpose? Who is he, Isolda? Is he your ex? Oh no, no. He's not. He's just my friend. You are my only boyfriend. Luckily. Wait, Isolda. He was the one who provoked me first. I had no intention of hitting him. It's all because of him. Shut up, Duncan. I didn't expect you to be someone who could swing a fist so easily. You hit him just because he asked about me? No. He says I don't understand you and then provokes me. Babe, the fact that he was going to give you that rose. I told him that you are allergic to roses, so he got mad and thought I was exaggerating. Impossible. You've been with me for so long and don't you know that I have a severe allergy to roses? Wait, what? Are you really allergic to roses? Ugh. I don't want to talk with you anymore, Duncan. You even hit my boyfriend. No, please listen to me. Don't be mad, Isolde. And you? Why did you let him hit you? You have to fight back or run away. But I'm afraid that by using violence I will become the ugliest person. No, no. You are the most special one. If they make a mistake, hit them. They do it to you first. Aw, uh, she hasn't changed. You ug. My head. Oh no, what happened? She he. No way. He tricked me. He saw a soldier coming. Then he... He's not a normal person. She suddenly had a headache. Did she ever remember something? Levi? Yes, I'm here. I think I've told you this before. What? I've seen you for a long time, haven't I? Since we were children, when your body was full of wounds. Yes, it's me. Did you remember already? Yes, I remember. Hoo-hoo. Do you know how sad your sudden passing makes me? I'm so so sorry. At that time those evil children chased me, I had to hide. I didn't expect that after they couldn't find me, they found you. But don't be sad, I'm with you now, aren't I? Yes, now you're here. Don't leave me again. No, I never intended to leave you, I swear. You better do that. That night. TCH. I need to find a way to make up with a solder. It's all because of that bastard. If he doesn't show up. What the heck? It's really hurt. You? Here you are. What do you want from me? He punched so hard, I felt like something was breaking inside of me. Ugh. Oh, looks like you broke a bone. You? you? Oh, it's really hurt. Oh my, I only give back what you did to me. You dare punch me in the face? Isolda really likes my face. You are destroying something she loves. This guy is crazy. He's not normal at all. No, no. Wait. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. I was wrong. Please forgive me. No, it's too late. I, no. Oh my, it's Isolda. What's up, darling? Yes, I'm free right now. It's time.
Ah, uh, what am I doing? I'm playing with a rat. Yeah, uh, don't play with them. If you're not careful, you'll get bitten. Don't worry, babe. You know I love animals. I'll be with you in five minutes, okay? Okay, I'll waiting for you. Love you, babe. No, don't come closer. Don't worry, I'm just playing with some rat. Then Duncan's family announced that he was transferring schools. Even though it was a bit of a surprise, Isolde didn't care about it in the end. One years later, after summer vacation, in Roblox group chat. Hey girls, long time no see. How's ya doing? Hi girl, I'm fine. It's just that we haven't seen each other for a long time. Yeah, you're right. Although I don't really like going out, but because I'm meeting you, I'll go. Ah, uh, I miss you guys too. So, I also want to tell you something special. Really? What's that? I will say it when we meet. You make me curious. So when can we meet? How about this weekend? Hmm. I think I can go, okay? Me too. Cool. Now let's play doors together. I heard that this game is popular these days. You're right. Let's play it. Okay. okay. On the weekend. I'm curious. What is Isolde trying to tell us? Same. I don't know. Hello. I'm here. Here you are. What's up? We were waiting for you. I know. I'll tell you that right now. But first we should have lunch, right? Right. I haven't eaten anything this morning. Me too. Haha. <laughs> I know that. So I asked him to buy us lunch. Him? Hi everyone. Here you are, Levi. What the hell, Levi? You are Levi, really? Haha. <laughs> That's why I want to tell you guys. Then you already know his name. He's Levi. And he's my boyfriend. Here is your food. Thank you, honey. Wait, Levi? You are a famous singer. But you stopped your career, right? Yes, you're right. I feel tired after standing on stage for a long time. So I decided to stop singing and continue going to school. So, how did you guys meet? I lost my wallet and he helped me find it until evening. Haha, -ha, Isolde was really panicking at that time. Yeah, because in my wallet there is a picture of my grandma. My grandma died when I was young. So I was touched and became friends with him. And after a month of dating, we fell in love. And the special thing that makes me like her is because she doesn't know who I am. Impossible. You don't know him. Haha. <laughs> because at that time I only focused on studying. But he's very handsome. You should pay attention to that. Oh, you're right. Haha. <laughs> ha. I was surprised to see such a handsome guy appear and talk to me. Aw, oh, come on. You are so pretty too. Ah, thank you. I can't believe Isolde has such a perfect lover. So do you mind if we exchange phone numbers? Yeah, I mean we can be friend. Oh, thank you, but I can't. Huh? Why? I don't take other girls' phone numbers, except for Isolde. Ah, look at you. Because I don't want my girlfriend to be sad. And I also limit talking on the phone. Ugh, okay. But do you also have to play games? I mean, we're good sisters on Roblox. You, you can join us. Hmm, what do you think, babe? Oh, I'm fine with that. I know you love to play Roblox too. Haha, <laughs> if you say so then yes. I will play with you guys someday, okay? Great! Ugh, oh, I mean cool. I'm sure you play very well. See you in the game. Okay, thanks. 30 minutes later. He's really handsome. And he's also rich. Unexpectedly, just because Isolde didn't know who he was, he fell in love with her right away. Maybe, maybe celebrity life is complicated? I don't know. But Isolde feels like winning the lottery. I'm really jealous of her. Why, you're right. Not everyone is so lucky. I think if I try, maybe he likes me too. W what? No, you can't can't do that. You know, he's Isolde's boyfriend. So? So what? They're not husband and wife yet. What should I be afraid of? But... Stop talking like that right now. You'll never have such a great boyfriend if you hesitate like that. Ugh, okay. So bored. I'm going home. Hey, wait for me. Sometime later in Roblox. Like I said, I invited Levi to play with us. Hi. 
Hi again, Levi. It's great to see you share our interests. I only like Roblox because Isolda likes it. Oh, okay. Haha. <laughs> Calm down, babe. This is your first time playing Roblox, right? First time? Yes, you're right. I look forward to your guidance. Haha. <laughs> I'm not really good at the game. I'm really good at the game. I can teach you, Levi. Oh, really? No, thanks. I will learn it myself. Ugh. Okay. So let's play. Okay. okay. 30 minutes later. Wait. Is that my phone? Yeah. It is. Wait for me. Hello, Mom? Yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. What's wrong? Okay. I'll talk to you. Hey, guys. I think I need to talk to my mother for a bit. She is asking me to fix her TV. Great! It's my time. Is that so? How long until you come back? Maybe 30 minutes. Oh, okay. I'll waiting for you. Okay. See ya. Saya. Saya. So I guess it's just us here, right? If you guys mind, I'll go out. No. I didn't mean that. Huh? Ahem, Ariel. Can you help me? Help what? Ugh. Don't you remember? But, fine. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, you don't mind that. Ariel promised me one thing and now she's helping me. Okay. Now that it's just us, can I ask you something? Uh. What do you think about me? Is that important? I don't want to answer questions that are too much for you. Come on. I'm so shy so I need a little help from a handsome person like you. I also want to be a singer like you. So can you tell me? Is that relevant? I feel like I'm wasting my time. Wait, if you don't help me, Isolde will surely be sad, because I'm her best friend. Really? I don't see that. You're her best friend, but you say weird things all the time. Are you trying to reach me? Chi chi, fine. You're not interesting at all. I just want to be close to you for a bit. So what do you think about Isolde? Oh, my love? She is so cute and kind, all the best words in the world can't describe her. I feel extremely lucky to be able to meet and get to know her. Ugh, what's inside his head? He immediately answered questions about Isolde, but he did not answer me. Well, are you sure Isolde thinks the same of you? What do you mean? I've been her best friend for three years. We're just apart. But she's actually quite superficial with her lover. I once advised her not to date a middle-aged man. Really? Oh my god. Really? At that time, she was poor and needy, to the point where she was planning to find a sugar daddy. I'm so worried about you that I warn you. Moreover, there was a guy who used to like her very much, pursuing her since middle school. But he disappeared as soon as you showed up. Do you find that strange? Maybe she slept with that guy. Then after falling in love with you, she hastily kicked him. I don't know how she chased that guy away either, but I was very suspicious. But don't be too sad. She won't tell you those things. If you're sad, you can come and find me. Pfft. Ha 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 ha. So what? What? What do you mean when you say that? I think that if that really happened, I wouldn't care. She's mine now, right? That's all. What the? Even if she did such embarrassing things? Ha ha ha. I know what you're trying to do. Don't worry, I know you're lying. I investigated all about her. She never did what you say. What the hell? Are you stalking her? Whoa, whoa, don't say that. I'm her boyfriend. It's only natural that I do. You. And you, you talk too much. I feel like you shouldn't be with Isolde one more second. Otherwise, I'll be the one to make you disappear. Damn it. This guy is handsome but crazy. I don't want to flirt with him anymore. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I just... Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear any words come out of your mouth. Quickly disappear in front of Isolde. I didn't like you at first. Don't let me hate you. You know, when I'm angry, it's not going to be fun. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Chi Chi, so annoying. Who does she think she is that can separate me and Isolde? Um, excuse me, I just saw Ruby leave the chat, what happened? Oh, nothing much. It's just that she has a stomach ache. Really? This is so strange. But isn't this my chance? Um, Levi? If you're going to flirt with me like that, sell tea, then shut up right now. I uh, know, no, 
What are you saying? Hoo hoo hoo, I had no such intention. I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Chi chi, if the question has nothing to do with Isolde, then you better not ask at all. Hoo hoo hoo. Chi chi, best friend, so lame. I'm back. Wait, where have they all gone? Babe, you're back. They are very bad people. Wait, what's wrong? Tell me. Ruby was trying to flirt with me, Ariel, too. I can't believe the people who are your best friends can say that. Impossible. I didn't expect them to do this to me. Let me go ask them. You don't have to, babe. I don't want you to mess with those bad girls anymore. I know, Levi. But I've been close with them for three years. I can't just end it like this. Okay, then I'll waiting for you. Hey, Ruby. I want to ask you. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't flirt with him at all. What the? What's wrong? I haven't asked you anything yet. Did you really flirt with my boyfriend? Yes, but I won't do it anymore. And I don't need him anymore. What the hell? Excuse me? I know you'll stop hanging out with me after this. But I'll give you one last warning. Don't trust him too much. Huh? He's very strange. He's a dangerous person. What do you mean? He. Huh? Ruby? Hey, why do you stop talking all of a sudden? I'm here. So sorry. What do you mean? You say Levi is dangerous. What do you mean? I mean he's dangerously handsome. You should be careful. I've tried robbing him once. I'm sure there will be another time. What the? You beach. I trusted you to be a good person. Ha! Huh. It's because you're so stupid. What? What the hell? Why can't I access my account? Did someone hack it? No, no. Let me try again. The password you entered is incorrect. What the heck? Apparently I was texting with Isolde when my nick was thrown out. Oh. Why is he here? He's not human. I will call the police. What the? It's so bad to have to say goodbye to a friend I've known for three years. But all because she had the intention to rob my boyfriend. She deserves it. Darling, you're here. Oh, Levi. So? You're right. She is a bad person. I already blocked her. Great. That way no one will be able to bother us anymore. Yeah, at least I still have you by my side. Hee hee, me too. So what about the other girl? You mean Ariel? Yeah, she also has the same intentions as Ruby. Nah, I don't care about her. She's really shy when talking to boys. And I think you'll be able to deal with them. Because you are my boyfriend, right? Yes, I'm your boyfriend. Sometime later. Hello? How have you been feeling lately? Oh, thanks. I'm feeling good. So what about him? He really loved me. Good. It's not in vain that I raise him. He's amazing, you know. He eliminated all the insects that flew around me. That's what I love about him. Well, I guess I don't need to meddle in this anymore. Anyway, thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Darling, I'm here. Levi. I really miss you. Ah, uh, me too. Let's go to the water park together. Cool, I love that idea. The end.